uh, for planning for a unique and well-designed city. Um, a lot of the things that all the other groups that we, we actually touched on also. Uh, strengths for our area, we thought that the neighborhoods and families, the ones that are well-established, are, are nice neighborhoods. Uh, I, I live in one people. I really enjoy my neighborhood. Uh, the trees, the amount of trees that we have in our area are, are nice. The uh, um, Grissom Library, I think we agreed with the people to uh, keep the library in, in the same spot and move all the other services to a, to a better location. If you didn't know, Grissom Library is the, is the library that is, has, has the most usage in the city. And there's a reason for it. The accessibility is in the neighborhood. And we walk to it, and we drive to it. And the people who use it are the people who live here. That's why we want to keep it. Okay. <laughs> the Denby area, the, the Burton that down in uh, the Denby Boulevard, there's a nice green area down there that, that has the boat ramp. Uh, we thought that was a unique area and we would like to keep it uh, and maybe expand on some other areas that could give us river access. Um, uh, Denby High School. Uh, Denby High School, uh, I went to Denby High School. A lot of people don't like Denby High School, but we, we touched on the football team. So. <laughs> Uh, we have a very diverse area. If you look at across, just across uh, the people that are sitting here, uh, it's a very diverse area. Um, and I think we work well together. I think this area of the city works better uh, than some of the other areas, even with the diversity that we have. Um, and waterways, we, this area, uh, we, you can't walk you know, 1,500 feet without tripping over a stream or, or a lake or a, a body of water somewhere, and we think we should capitalize on that. Oh, yeah. The, the deer. Yeah, well, yeah, we have deer. If you live in this area, that deer walk through your neighborhood. And we, again, we really, we really enjoy that. Um, and Fort Eustace, uh, that was a topic that went back and forth, but uh, a lot of us did enjoy Fort Eustis. I, I think it is an asset to the area, not a detriment. Okay. <laughs> Weaknesses. Um, not enough public access uh, to the river. Um, the, uh, let's see, uh, the bike riding areas. Uh, a lot of people brought up that uh, riding a bike around here uh, is a dangerous proposition. Uh, at one time we were allowed to use the sidewalks, at one time they widened the sidewalks for that purpose and then they don't seem to want us on the sidewalks. And most people who, who ride bikes, we want to ride on the street on a nice level surface. So, uh, it would be so much better. Yes. Yeah, it's, Activities for the youth. Yeah, <laughs> better activities for the youth. And, uh, uh, and we talked about the threats. Uh, the gangs that are in the area that are pretty, a lot of them are pretty new within the last 10 years. Um, crime. Uh, I bought a shop right in front of one of the biggest neighborhoods that have crime in it. I, I do not feel wrong in that. I think that the city is doing a good job in trying to take care of that. Uh, gunshots. Well, heard gunshots uh, in the area. Um, I think it's gone down since I've lived here. Uh, uh, people moving out as a result of the crime and the gunshots. Um, all, all I can say is, it's, is the city, I think, is doing a good job in trying to resolve these issues. Um, I think. Although, to, to be fair, I think that was kind of mixed in our group. It there was. Certainly, were others who felt that that was something. It was. You're not going to get me to move out by gunshots. You're going to get me to be more active in my community. That's what you're going to get. Um, Crime-related issues uh, not being addressed and that allowed to fester. I happen to agree with this. I, I think there are pockets uh, that aren't given enough um, uh, attention uh, by the police in the city. Uh, and the young people aren't staying here. Um, our area uh, the, the statistics that they pointed out uh, are eight years old, but I think it's fair to assume that our area is getting old, older uh, as a demographic. Last thing, just talk about the last question, right? 
Sorry. Nope. <laughs> that, that was a wish list. Yeah, there was, we started a wish list, but I think we moved on. Preserving larger areas. Okay, yes. vacant properties. I think uh, all the groups touched upon that. Um, we think there needs to be something done at the city level uh, so that this doesn't continue. Maybe a tax on properties that stay vacant for a long period of time. Uh, that they don't want to rent for some reason or another uh, to help the landlords along to believe that they should be rented. Um, a new variety or types of housing. Uh, we talked about um, high density housing with retail involved uh, so that we could use uh, more of the space for green areas. And I know that some uh, people in our group did not uh, agree with that, uh, but we were looking at the new style of high density housing uh, to attract the younger people who want to live with and eat and, and work within a couple of block radius. I think is what we were talking about. Yes, oh, the, the African American uh, heritage and to build upon it in our area. I, I agree. Um, I was horrified, uh, to be honest with you, when the Prince Hall uh, uh, Lodge shut down over by the Warren Courthouse. Uh, it's uh, Mason's. It's a, Prince Hall is the, the African American branch of that. Um, and it's been here forever. <laughs> uh, the uh, Mennonites, um, we have a large uh, population of Mennonites uh, just to the, I believe, north of, of our corridor. Uh, and maybe we need to touch on that. Multiculturalism uh, celebrated, uh, and I think we touched on that a lot. I think we have a lot of diversity, and I think we need to work on that. Uh, in a summary, in a summary. <laughs> yes, with the police department and the fire department, and leave the library where it is. Yes. All right, thank you very much. <laughs>